Esperanza de un mundo Welcome to part one, two, three, four, five of seven, or however many parts it takes for me to finish this goddamn picture. Anyway, I've gone onto manual mode, so you'll have to excuse while I change the shutter and aperture for when I actually get started painting. Here is the painting. You can see it beautifully in its incomplete stage, and I'm down by the Thames, in case you're wondering. So let's readjust the focus and everything. We'll bring that down right there and we'll bring this shutter speed up. Perfect exposure for what I'm seeing. You can have a look now. Have a look and see what a beautiful sunny day it is down in the shadows where it's cooler and lovely perfect temperature for art. Creations! So let's crack in. Quick. Purple. Bang. Back of the net. Oh, lovely. Lovely purpley, ready. Beautiful goodness. Oh my goodness. I enjoy doing this stuff. Random stuff outside. There we go. And now I planned for some more long sort of strokes to mirror up here. Here we go. That's all right with the edge of the brush. It's just a top segment anyway. I know what I'm gonna do. Seeing as we've got a little bit of time left, I'm gonna get pen out, hopefully. Oh, a rib! A rib goes past. I'm gonna get the red pen out just really crank in some red colour because this is passion right here down by the seafront I mean the Thames front it's passionate I didn't think I would use red in this picture but hey there we go it looks like red has very much been called for and there you have let's just clean up the pen a little bit there you have a nice red section. Let me just take the shutter so you can actually see it. There you go. Nice red segment. Oh, I might as well leave you like this and white out the shot for the hell of it. See you all in the next episode. Bye.